grand early, right? I didn't see an F1. Okay, so this is what? Coffee time. But y'all, I just finished my last drop of coffee. The coffee of the day is eight by eight o'clock, 100% Colombian. So, this um, coffee time is about, I wanted to talk about being a multi-dimensional being. And how do you know what dimension you are in? Now, I know a, a lot of people um, is talking about, you know, 5D. Or we in fifth dimension. But you know what? Everybody is not in fifth dimension. And can no one tell you what dimension you're in? Because guess what? We are all multidimensional beings. We're not in we're not in the same dimension. I'm a multidimensional being. And this suit that I'm in on this dimension. In this reality, on this planet, it's not the same suit I'm wearing on another planet, in another dimension. And I know because I have experienced it. Okay. So, one night I was on, in another dimension. And um, I was driving around, I was driving around, and I get to this uh, place, and they ask me for my ID. So I go into my purse to get my ID. You know, I pulled it out and hand it to the person, and the guy say, this you? And when I went to look down at my ID, I did like this here, to look down at it, and then I, like that. Something kept me from looking at my ID to see what I really look like in that dimension. Mm -hmm. We are, no one can tell you what dimension you are in. And I, I and the um, brainwashing is that uh, everyone, everyone is in fifth dimension, but you're not. It's lots and lots of dimension. The earth, the not earth, the, the galaxies are infinite. Infinite. And you could travel anywhere you want. It's a lot of me. There's a lot of, of my avatars out there. And they're endless. I could be in some planet I never heard of. And I'm sure I am. So I was watching um, Law and Order uh, earlier tonight, and um, it's this game um, where you could be. It's called Avatar, and you are different in each setting. Like it could be a stripper. And look like this. And then you could be somewhere else, but look like this. And live in this lifestyle. It's like, it's just like being on social media. In a sense. It's not true reality. You know? Because we have multiple realities. You take, take for example, that's just like when you're on uh, social media, you could put a head on somebody's body, somebody else's body, that's not yours, and so forth. You can make yourself look something that you're not. And it's really, it's real... It's real sickening in a sense. It's just like creating the matrix. See, it's no longer a matrix anymore. The word matrix, that's old, that's old world. 
and the old world is done. So now we are in the age of Aquarius, where we know that we are multidimensional beings now. See, the matrix is done, the fake world. But yet, there's others that's trying to create another fake world. That's why the, they have that artificial intelligence. Robots. You know, there's people, you, you think someone is a real person and they're really a robot? They're really a robot? You have, um, Portals opened. You have portals everywhere, and you have beings. They're traveling. We're going. We, we're traveling from one dimension to the next through portals, through portals. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember um, years ago. Years ago. Years ago. Um, I was in another dimension. And let me say, tell you this, you don't dream. You don't dream. You're really in those worlds doing those things. You're not dreaming. Okay. Um, I was in another dimension and um, I get a phone call and as soon as I pick up, this woman, she was just talking, 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 and I'm like, who are you? I don't know you. And you know what she said to me? She said, yes, you do. You just don't remember. I'll never, ever forget that. I made contact for, to another dimension, or another dimension contacted me. Because this avatar was down here. I get a call from another dimension. Sure did. Sure did. I remember um, one uh, one one time I went to another dimension and it was in this hospital setting. Okay. And I goes in this patient's room and the patient was this woman that manifested down here as my, one of my grandmother's sister. And she was just laying in the bed and I hadn't, well, I wasn't dreaming. Okay, so I'm not even gonna use the word dream. That's just the, that's the word that the enemy made up. Wanna make you think that you're dreaming about things, but you're not. We are multi-dimensional beings. Okay, so I, uh, like I said, I went into the room and it was her, my, one of my aunts. And um, I said, why are you, why are you um, just laying in bed? Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get dressed so we could go. And so um, she got up, got dressed. And so we were standing in the, in the, in the um, doorway talking. And so then we started walking down the hallway. We started walking down the hallway and we went out the door. And so we was talking as we walked out the door and then I looked to the right of me and it wasn't her anymore. It wasn't her anymore. Um, it was this lady. She was black, real black. The color of my damn head wrap. You hear what I say? She was black on black. She was black on black, had on black dress, 
jet black melanin hair. Afro. And she said, this is what she said to me. She said, we're waiting on you. And I said, what are you waiting on me for? In a sarcastic kind of way. And then she got in this spaceship. And I woke up. So my question is, have y'all been waking up to your true self? To your true self, meaning, are you cleaning yourself? Are you detoxing yourself of all the lies and the brainwashing that has been done to you? Making you think that you're supposed to be a slave. See, I'm free. I'm free. I came here to be free, and I am free. We were brainwashed to think that we're supposed to work for a living. No, you don't. All you have to do is enjoy life. You don't chase things. Things chase you. You attract things to you. You see this matrix is crashing, don't you? You see people shape shifting. They're not even they are they're, they're, it, there's different types of being on this planet. And like I say, we go from one dimension to the next. Well, so my thing is, are you waking up knowing that you're not supposed to be a slave to life? And that you are a multi-dimensional being. And that you create your own reality. And that you could go to any planet that you want to go to. You can experience any type of life you want. That's what I want to know. You ever heard of someone saying that if you don't like the life you have, create the one you want. That's what I'm getting at. You can have a fabulous life if you want it. That's up to you. That's up to you. Like I created, I've, I, I, that I created a luxury life for myself when I was a child. I always loved luxury. Always loved good living. Always loved myself. Always loved wealth. Money wealth. Because you need money. All right. I never did let anyone tell me I was poor. I've never been poor. Always rich, but you know what? You have those of us that love ourselves and love life, love luxury, and we are in harmony with it. And then you have those that's not in harmony with loving themselves and loving life and loving luxury and being in harmony. So those that's not in harmony is the enemy of all, those of the, are the enemies of those of us that's in harmony with love and in living and enjoying life to the fullest and not being a slave to life. Get it? See, I'm not a slave to life. I live and I enjoy life. What am I going to do today? Whatever I want. <laughs> Whatever I want. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to the gym. Oh, y'all know what? 
the new iPhone 14 event was yesterday. So the new iPhone 14 is out. I think you can start um, purchasing on um, next, no, on Friday, the 9th. Yeah, tomorrow, Friday, the 9th. You can start uh, purchasing. Yes. So I'm going to get the 14. I'm going to get that 14. I'm getting the 14. I'm getting it. Um, yeah. I'm excited. I I keep I I stay ahead. I don't get behind in technology. We in a whole new world. That just like ages ago you had the typewriter. You don't have no typewriter no more. You have technology. Even when computers first came out they have advanced so much from that time from the time that they have come out the internet when computers first came out there was no such thing as a damn internet not in our um reality and dimension and world maybe in the other worlds because there's there's higher in um in other planets and galaxies, there's higher intelligent beings. And they are the ones that make the computers. There's the one, yeah, and um, internet. See, yes, yes, some very high intelligent beings because they're able to bring us all together. I could be talking to somebody in Spain or somebody wherever. That's high tech. That's that's a very, very intelligent person to be able to do that. You ever thought about that? Mm-hmm. Yes, y'all, I made me, me a tie-dye dress. This is my uh, Calvin Klein. Mm -hmm. I made me a tie-dye. Being creative made me a tie-dye. And I love it so it's, it's regular black and white. And then I tie-dyed it. It's being creative. Yeah. So. So. Um. I was going to go to the event yesterday, but y'all know what? After I came from the gym. I just came home and grabbed me some breakfast with some champagne. Y'all know what? Let me tell you this here. We create our own reality. Okay? Keep creating peace and happiness for yourself and you will continue to have much more of it. What is champagne for? Celebrations. So the more champagne, everything has a vibration. That's another thing I want to tell y'all. Everything has a vibration. Everything. The food that you eat, you, you have the elements, earth, wind, fire, water, colors have vibrations. Your thoughts have vibrations. Your actions have vibrations. Everything has a vibration. So don't let no one and nothing bring down your vibration. You keep raising your vibration. And be careful of how you react to things. Always think positive. I don't care what it is. Don't let nobody bring you back into the matrix. Because it's garbage. You create any life you want. Everything is energy. You speak positive in the atmosphere. Oh, y'all know what? Let me tell y'all this. Let me tell y'all this. Don't never, ever bite your tongue. Whatever you need to release, you always got someone to talk to because guess what? The universe, the most high, the creator is right there listening. And he could take anything. He know how you feel. 
He know how you think. He know what you're thinking. He know you got feelings because hell, he got feelings. He put us on punishment for 400 damn years. Through our side of us, I'm talking about us so-called Negroes. Put us out of our land, Israel, yeah, for 400 years. So he have feelings and he know you have them. Zion, I'm talking Zion. So, whatever, whatever you need to say, release it. Whatever you feel, release it in the atmosphere. Release it up into those cosmos. You don't leave things bottled down. That's how people end up exploding. There's no need to do that. Just open your mouth and talk and let it out into the universe. Life is but a game. People want to make it a game. But it's not a game. Life is a beautiful thing. When you know the truth about yourself. That you're a multi-dimensional being. You can have anything you want to have. You can be anything you want to be. And that you're limitless. And the universe is limitless. I'm going to start watching more uh, galactic information. Because, see, I like to learn about me so I can elevate, so I can vibrate high. That's another thing, too. Watch what you're, watch what you're giving your energy to. If you sit around and you uh, watch videos or you're associating with low vibrational things, your vibration is going to be low. But if you participate on things of high vibration, you're going to vibrate high. You have esoteric knowledge, which is what you should be learning. Numerology, alchemy, gematria, all of that, that's high, that's the real high learning. How the universe works, what you send up is what you get back. There's no surprise of what you get because what you do is what you get. And let me tell you something, no one can ever do anything to you but you. I'm not saying you don't have enemies because we got them. But it's up to you if you're going to let them win. I don't let the enemy win. I let the enemy know who's the damn boss. Yeah. So that's why I can get up every day and say I did it. I won. I set my goals and I accomplished every last one of them. Y'all know what I was playing in my life when I was a child. When I was 14 years old. No joke. You get this. When you're in junior high, you have what? Junior ROTC. When you get in high school, you have regular ROTC. And then once you graduate from high school, you do what? You go straight into the military. See, it was always my goal to do both, actually. Go into the military and college. And I did both. I did. I did both. And for one thing, by me being a veteran, I got a guaranteed check. For the rest of my life so I don't have to work. So see, money, I don't chase money. Money chases me. I fix my life so I can enjoy life, not be a slave to life. Money chases me. I'm a money magnet. I'm a money magnet.
and another thing. You got to be careful of who you listen to. You want to listen to the creator? Or you want to listen to Lucifer and his shit? Making you think you got to chase something and provide for yourself. You can never, I can never provide for myself the way the most high provides. Y'all know what? Let me tell y'all this. 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 Okay. See, the enemy, beings from another dimension, they created this make-believe, this foolishness called the Matrix, trying to make people turn. turn. They actually try, tried to turn everyone into slaves. So guess what, old Negro? We wasn't only slaves because actually this whole world have turned into a fucking slave, a slave system. Because everybody is out there working. But life is supposed to be enjoyed. Let me tell you something. Years and years and years ago, before the Most High gave this world into the hand of the wicked, see, the wicked created this system, and his system is falling. Okay? system is falling. The Most High is cleaning house. The Most High was living with us down here on this earth. Okay? And he's back down here again. And he's going to live forever. With us. That was not no damn J E S U S. That wasn't no Ida walk in this earth. That was the most high. He lived right down here with us in Israel. I'm talking to us Negroes now. That's where we're from. We're from Israel, and we are Israel, and we are Hebrew. We are not no damn Africans. Instead of sitting around here on ignorance, the Most High say, know thyself. He say, my people suffer for the lack of knowledge, not this one. Because I know who I am. I'm not even from this world. No, I'm not. I am an alien. I'm an alien. I'm not from this world. I'm a multi-dimensional being. I go from one planet to the next. Think about it. None of us is from this planet. The creator used our mother's womb to get us down here. Remember the Most High said, I knew you before you entered your mother's womb. So that tells me I was somewhere else before I got in my mother's womb. And sometimes I wonder how many wounds have I entered? How many? So when I see the Most High face to face, he got a lot to tell me about me. Because he's the one that created me. I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. He woke me up at what? 1.33? Like, huh? It's 1.33 a.m. So I got up and I made me some coffee. <laughs> like what am I up for at 1.33? I guess to do coffee time. 
So, yeah. So, yes. So, the Most High is here. Okay, he's here. He's here. And he's not no darn spirit that was all alive. See, somebody needed a God, so they made up one. That J-E-S-U-S stuff in the New Testament. And then they wanted to shove that down the whole world's throat. But truth to the matter is, everybody has their own uh, higher power. And my almighty Elohim is the creator himself. I'm an everlasting covenant with him. That's the truth. Regardless, I don't care how many lies I was told when I was a child. Those lies don't mean a fucking thing. The only thing that matters is the truth. And what matters is that I accept the truth. And the truth is I'm an everlasting covenant with the most high, the creator. That, that Christian shit that my uh, adoptive parents poked in me, it was all lies. I'm not nobody's fucking Christian. And that shit they had me doing was damn wrong. They had me against my own almighty, own Elohim. They had me against the creator. Because the creator is my Elohim. And the proper word is Elohim. Almighty Elohim, not G-O-D. Because I don't worship no damn dog. When you spell G-O-D backwards, what you get? D-O-G. See, Pete, they don't even respect the most high. And misleading was misleading us. Yes, was misleading us because, see, I once was a child. We all were. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, a lot of a lot of time I talk to my Almighty Allah, I am the Most High, about things that I don't like, and He know I don't like. I don't like to be lied to. I don't like to be lied on. I don't like people playing with my life. I don't take that lightly. I don't like shit like that. And people who do things like that are your enemies. And guess what? You don't love your enemies. The most I don't love his enemies, he gonna kill every last one of you motherfuckers. He sure is. You go back and you read the book of Psalms. See, we've been we've been seriously brainwashed. Well, I ain't been brainwashed, but y'all know what I mean. See, we've been brainwashed with some bullshit. And the only way that though that you are going to be able to get out of the matrix, you got to get out the brainwash. And everything that you was taught, you better unlearn that shit. You better do a spiritual detox. Everything that you was taught in this in that old world, you better unlearn it so you can elevate to the to the next dimensions and enjoy your lives. Because you're a multi-dimensional being. Don't let no one compress you into thinking you can you're 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 only this little thing. Oh hell no. They can't even lie no more, can't you see? Y'all notice now when you when you on on YouTube, they're talking more and more about um, UFOs now. Y'all know there was a time when they wouldn't wouldn't dare. Back in the eighties and nineties, when people was being um, caught up in these spaceships and, and things, and then and, and then they would come back and tell their story what they experienced. The government and the news people will sit up here and and, and 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 say that they're not truthful. But guess what? They were truthful. Excuse me. They they really experienced that. Just like Elijah and Enoch went up in the chariot. So now the old world is done and they can't lie no more. The house of cards are falling. 
Babylon is falling. The matrix is falling apart. The Most High is destroying all those wicked creatures that brought their asses here, messing over the planet. That's another thing, too. You want to... See, you know how they was able to do those things? First, they did the brainwashing. And then they start messing with your food, putting all kinds of chemicals and shit in it so your brain can't function right. But y'all better stop. Okay? And eat properly. Eat your fruits. Because, see, actually, let me tell you something. The Most High is in control of all things. He, he, gonna, he give the green light and he give the red light. And he have given their asses the red light. Red means stop, God damn it. The old world is done. He's back down here on planet Earth. The time of the wicked is done. Okay? They're done. They're trying so hard now to create a new world, but they're done. They're done. On planet Earth. We're going home to the new Jerusalem. I often wonder. I often wonder where is the new Jerusalem. And I say Jerusalem because there's no J's in Hebrew. So it's not Jerusalem. It's Jerusalem. Okay. Yeah. So, I often wonder where the new Jerusalem is. Because if we're going to a new one, so are we going to be on planet Earth? Or is the Most High going to come get us? Because he's going to come get us in the chariot. Okay. He's going to come get us in the chariot. And no, no joke. That's why I, my, I got my suitcase packed. My suitcase been packed ever since 2019. Shit, when January 2019 rolled up in here, I had my bag packed. It been packed ever since. And when August 2019 hit, that was the end of our 400 years. You see what he's doing to uh, Trump, and see Trump was in pre was the one, was the president. He was the pharaoh at the time. Pharaoh mean president. Pharaoh mean king. You know the the, the person that's in power. Okay. And so um, we were supposed to had gone home to Israel, back to our land. Back in 2019. But Trump wouldn't listen to the Most High. So therefore, the Most High sent the plagues on this place, on this world. That's why he hit the asses up with COVID. Now he hitting the asses up with monkeypox. Baby, he bringing their asses down left and right, left and fucking right. There's no more Queen Elizabeth. She ain't no queen. She just Elizabeth. She's no... Oh, they, they are no longer... There's no more European royalty. The real royalty is sitting right here. I am of the royal tribe of Yahuda. I am a Yahudi daughter of Zion. I am one of the 12 tribes of Israel. And we are royalty forever. See, we were just on punishment for 400 years because my ancestors had sinned against the Most High by worshiping other gods. Other, L-O, yeah, other, by worshiping gods. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turned from him. And so he punished us for 400 years, put us out of our land, which is Israel. We're not from no fucking Africa. He sent us to Egypt. He sent us there. We were sold from Africa, but we're not from there. We were sold from there. 
we were sent, we were sent there and sold from that area to the four corners of the earth to be slaves. So Africa is not, we are not Africans. And Africans is our enemy. Africa is also our relative because we are brother's children. <laughs> we are brother's children. Seriously, we are. Noah had three sons, Ham, Shem, and Japheth. We are brother's children. See, I'm from the line of Shem. You take Barack Obama, he's from the line of Ham. <coughs> Barack is my cousin. Mm -hmm. So the so-called Africans, the Hamites, <coughs> are our cousins. You got Ham, Hamite, Shem, Shemites, and Japheth. I don't know who the hell Japheth is. I don't know who he is. I mean, he, he is our relative, but I don't know who those people, you know, where, who, who is Japheth? I know who Ham is, Africa, but I don't know who Japheth is. I don't think none of us know, because none of the, not even the brothers even talk about Japheth. They know who the, who Ham is. They know who they know who Ham is, damn it! But we don't we don't know who Japheth is. We don't know we don't even know who Japheth is. But the Most High He'll let us know when it, when He bring us all together. When He bring us all together, um, He's gonna send uh, Elijah. And once He send Elijah, we out of here. Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna see these chariots. Y'all need to go back and watch um this movie is called They Can Fly. Mm hmm And um what's the other one? It's about the chariots of the Most High coming to get us. Um, oh, I can't think of it now. But I'll try to remember when I do next coffee time. Mm -hmm. So that was coffee time, y'all. That was coffee time. Y'all, what's y'all favorite coffee? Tell me what's y'all favorite coffee? What are y'all sipping on this morning? Thank y'all for tuning in. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you'll be notified when I'm dropping new videos. Shalom.